again for Mr. Eric Stafford Dins. something racking up death Always something in the hollows of home Always something that runs from the light Always something that focus in the mirror Always something you ignore studio just this last week and did a demo uh, CD, correct? Yeah. By the way, John, Teresa, Teresa, John. John is like the music photographer of the Fox Valley area. Yes, he like is. He like, shoots everybody and uh, posts all their stuff up on YouTube and takes pictures and stuff, so you need to get to know him. Because <laughs> she's in a band called Sweet Tea and Spurs, and she's a solo artist now as well. So. So there needs to be some pictures of her and video of the footage of her. I think I'm everybody's agent. I think yeah. that's what I do. I just run around and get everybody gigs. And Me. 
some of my now world famous mystery bags with me mystery bags two dollars and you get to take home even if you've bought one before or been given one by an anonymous me <laughs> it's they're all different so, uh, I recently went to a friend's house uh, a guy named Eric Dins and he had some of the stuff that he got in his bag a little picture of King Kong and uh, it was a King Kong collectible card. A King Kong trading card from, from the 1970s. Nintendo Loretto's King Kong in the 70s. Yes. With Jessica Lang being attacked by King Kong. That's right. Because I wasn't going to like give you a trading card that was just... What else came in that? Oh, that's right. He got a, a, a mid-century VHS copy of Godzilla vs. King Kong as well in that. Yeah, it was a bad movie because uh, in America they had it that Godzilla lost, and I was very disappointed with that. You'll hear more about our, our fascination with giant Japanese monsters later. So.
He's so kind, my, uh, my gracious partner will dance for you. She only drinks Even if it's hot outside Gets to the blood much quicker That's what she believes That's what she describes Hot liquor Brings a swing to her hips Hot liquor Brings a rush to her lips To her lips was actually inspired by, not about, but inspired by me and Kathleen's friend Margaret, who is like the queen of, of hot liquor drinks. Does uh, she want to have? 
Yeah, sometimes. She's not really a hat person, but I've seen seen them on her. Not as jaunty as Alyssa's hat. So. <laughs> <laughs> she got nervous because it's pointy. Oh, you have a jaunty hat. It's a jaunty hat. The hat is is quite jaunty. I've learned other words with don't point. Uh, but I started laughing because then I started thinking about Kathleen, who is like the queen of of cocktails. She invents cocktails, and I started thinking about. I went over to their their house on Halloween, and she made a rum punch, and we watched. Uh, the movie Halloween, and she called the drink Punch the Babysitter. I think that's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why we're friends. Uh, well, speaking of liquor, like you're the queen of cocktails. That's another thing to stake on a stump. She is. She's the she's the cocktail queen. Uh, Alcohol and cocktail queen, same thing. It's <laughs> um, speaking of liquor, this is another. Uh, I always wind up playing these two back to back. Uh, it seems recently. This is another song. Uh, this one's about telling the truth when you shouldn't. Uh, because there's something called the social contract, and the social contract means sometimes you have to lie to keep order in your life. And sometimes you drink so much the social contract goes right out the window. This is called Back in the Box. No, I'm just saying, he's got a pedal, that's oh, what I'm talking about. Her. Oh, yeah, don't snap him. Got a whiskey went down. Boys came back up and gushed. You know the indiscretion is just the truth when it blushes. He said, he said, it was just the booze talking, right? Well, the booze had some ideas about how we should spend the night. You can't break the law once you pick the locks. You can't turn the boat back in the rocks. You can't put
To be fair, I have a pedal that does it also, I just never use it. So. Well, thank you, folks. Thus ends our current uh, liquor set. <laughs> but it'll come back, trust me, it always comes back around. What time is it, by the way? It is 8.27. Mm. Excellent. Me and Eric's friend James, a Buddha bard, does a cover of this song. I don't know how much he does it anymore, but he has covered it. But he may um, do it maybe, maybe when he's solo, I think he covers it. Yeah, perhaps. He's doing the band. But I've been told by two people that this is the most romantic song they've ever heard. One is him. He said he can't sing without crying, which is just weird to me, but that's okay. I don't know how to take, I don't know how to take that. The other person was his ex-wife. So <laughs> After she was his ex-wife. So, I always like to think that perhaps they'll be in a room someday and across the room and I'll be up on stage and I play this song and their eyes meet and love blossoms again. I don't hold out a whole lot of hope for that, but uh, probably not. But it's a nice thought. You like the way she rolled the dice.
I had something else on my list I was going to play, but I'm not going to play it. Um, <laughs> Way to tease the audience. I know. I was going to play that, but now I'm well, not No, but it, it's a song that I, I know for a fact most everybody here has here heard multiple times. So, so what I'm actually going to do... What? what if it's one of your best songs? Didn't you do the exact same damn thing? <laughs> what, ask you? No, you, you said, you know what, I was going to play this, so I'm not going to play it now. You well, teased the audience. I did say that. You did, so... Nobody cares, even, nobody cares about what I like. Yeah. Anyway, um, I, I'm... I'm Juggling ideas for my next album, as, as uh, some of you know. Uh, I'm constantly going back and forth on what I want to do, and the thing I currently want to do is do a live album of the songs that I play live from time to time that I do, I've never put out on anything, So, <clears throat> and sort of make that my next release. So it would be like all new songs, but old songs that are live. So, And this is one of them. Uh, this song took me... A long time to write because I had the first half for about 10 years and then after I started doing this again I decided to finish it and uh, it's a quirky I know I, I play it every once in a while I'm at Gonzo's and stuff and actually played it today at Potbelly because I've decided if I'm gonna play Potbelly and nobody's gonna pay attention some days I'm just gonna play my stuff so uh, and that's fine doesn't matter that they don't tip <laughs> no uh, <laughs> Anyway. And speaking of tip jars, aren't they over there? Eh? There are tip jars. There are dueling tip jars, even though if you put tips in mine, I will split it between the two of us. So, uh, Okay, the clear one that I stole from a Pizza Hut in the 1980s oh, well, awesome. is, uh, is mine, and the other one is Eric's. So if you want to tip both of us, or then make us feel bad about each other since we have two, and be like, oh, you got more than me. Uh, I fully expect him to get more than Anyway, this song is about uh, voodoo and uh, Baton Rouge and uh, forensic science and threesomes. This is called Annie's Morning Brew.
straight version of that, and that's going to be on YouTube later. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. If all that. goes well. If all goes well. Is that based on a true story? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Magic and no, no absolutely not. <laughs> Believe it or not, that started as a comedy song, like back when I was working in comedy. It like started as, hey now, pork and bean, Annie. I don't know why. I did that, and then after a while I was like, no, I have to change that. So it was kind of like a McCartney bacon and eggs kind of thing. Um, that's how we started yesterday. It was yesterday. I had no idea. Uh, okay, so here's a, uh, another new one. Oh, hey, Tom. Two nights in a row, Tom comes out to see me. Because he's awesome. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is the one that I uh, I wrote after uh, doing this professionally now for over a year, and so I just go around depressing musicians with this song now. So. <laughs> Well, this really is a younger man's game Taking life as it comes Giving my dream a chance to fight I'm trying to get 50 folks To come out on a school night Crashing on strangers' couches Six foot tall basement flats you say I'm living the dream. Yep, I am. I didn't dream about that. Taking life is a Check my email at a truck stop as I buy a diet spray. Cause I'm trying to get 50 folks to come out on a school now. That old ADHD kicks in and I start listening to that guy's order. In the middle of my song, I'm like, ah, good. Tom's order, sorry. That guy. Say that I don't have a clue. I'm still trying to find the people that dig what I do. I don't like to lie, it's not professional to beg. But I know if I could play my songs, I could turn a few heads. Now I've got this kid who's got a guitar and a dream. And I'm trying to show him by example what this life will really be. But what the hell do I know? Not doing any of this right. I'm still trying to get 50 folks who will come out on a school night. What's your draw to ask? And I shouldn't say that I don't have a clue. I'm still trying to find the people that like what I do. I don't like to lie. It's not professional to beg. I just know if I could play my songs, I could turn a few heads. It's funny how you lose your delusions of fortune and fame when you're sitting in a diner in a town that barely deserves a name. Drinking coffee and hoping that every move you made was right. And tonight you'll get 50 folks to come out on a school. sort of sat there, and I think we both realized at the same time, after two years, this is not going any further after today. Um, it went on a little bit longer after that, but uh, years later I wrote this song, and I got a chance, she came out to a show, I don't know, years ago, and I got a chance to play it for her. It's called Other Women and Men. Until the moment breaks 
varied and interesting set ever, actually. Indeed. Uh, so, now that I've oversold it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my party piece.
This dark mass moves across the screen. I'm just going to have the word dins. Move it with it. <laughs> I, I think it was the realization. I just watched you turn around and go, oh, yeah. No, just going. <laughs> Yeah. 
because she's the one who told me uh, when I played her that song a trillion years ago I sent her the song and she's like yeah don't say the way to the girl part at the end just keep saying the other stuff I was just thinking oh yeah that was you thank you <laughs> speaking of Catherine that song cramps my thumb up that's why I had to like I couldn't let go of my pick if I didn't throw it so isn't that cool isn't that rock and roll Rock and roll like trigger, don't stab yourself with a guitar string. Ah, oh, yeah, no, no. It does happen. So. Uh, anyway, Kathleen does a lovely version of this song. And I, I actually, I, I want her to put it out. I want you to record it and put that out because I love her version of this song. But uh, this, is, this is my humble version. <laughs> so. It's very different. Like, it's, it, yours is right. Mine is no, 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 no. There's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. But you do it so differently. She does it on piano and she's rearranged it and she sings it beautifully. And and uh, there was once upon a time at a New Year's Eve party we tried to like I tried to sing her version and I couldn't do it. Like we suddenly realized, oh, that's not. Uh, well, I think when I sing it, but I did it in his key, and but I. It was just funny because I'm like, I'm like, oh no, they're very different versions of the same song, and I dig it. And I do love your version, so. Now that I've talked it up, here's my crappy version. <laughs> crazy, crazy emotion. Baby love sick on quiet ocean. And I danced on the lands of old blind. I opened my mouth, I consulted my mind. What would any romantic do? Kissed underneath a foolish moon. Now musicians don't understand what it's like to try to burp in between measures. <laughs> the struggle is real. Rest of silver on my head. They never forgot my mistake. She never forgot all those words I said. And I can never ever change my tune. Cause I played it underneath a foolish moon. Oh, 
afflictions we don't recognize Where the light flooded my room I guess I'll spend tonight with my foolish moon Crazy way, crazy motion, crazy, 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 crazy way. Yeah. short break in the League of Eric's we'll take to the stage. What time is it, Mr. D? It's two minutes to nine. Two minutes to nine. Perfect. Perfect. Two things I love in this world. A well-timed set list and guessing what I'm spending at the grocery store down to like the last five dollars. I don't know I don't know why. I'm just kind of a rain man kind of a thing going on there. But I love it. Is that what musicians do? Go grocery shopping after they play a show? Um, no. It's often. No, usually they eat. <laughs> yes. That would be a good There's a lot of burritos involved, usually. Burritos and liquor. Denny's. Denny's. Denny's is it? Yeah. Denny's is a big one. I don't like Denny's anymore. Of course, now with like DoorDash and all these things, you can just go home and have that stuff. They can just walk straight to your door. For a ridiculous fee, I was. Yeah. I looked at what it's cost mm -hmm. to get Denny's. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm a dasher now. I'm waiting for my kit so they can start dashing, mm -hmm. delivering uh, food to people's doors. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, fourteen dollars for moons over my hammy. What the hell? I'm like, no, no. I'll work for them, but I'm not paying them for that. Anyway, this is an absolutely true story, Eric. Before you ask, absolutely true. <laughs>
I may just sit here.